College students head back to campus this week, more and more people are coming into new communities, kids and parents alike. While universities, of course, doing their best to keep everyone safe, this mass movement means there are some risk. Alan Janae joins us live in CU Boulder tonight. Alan, safety, of course, a big concern, but many just excited to be returning to campus. Well, you know what that excitement is like, Karen. Over 10,000 students are returning to Colorado's largest universities this time as freshmen they're going for their first time. You know, there are a lot of gaps in protections, but in a sense, there are gaps everywhere we go. The question is, are these tolerable risks? Lexi Jaggi from Michigan, like many, went through the procedures without objection. They know that if we don't take it serious, we might get sent home. Some educators, though, are worried about students who live off campus who aren't required to be tested before attending classes. It means there might be a bunch of asymptomatic carriers or those who are only showing minor symptoms and still going to class, spreading the virus without us being able to know that. At CU, they haven't yet finalized plans, but they know HIPAA rules make it tough to share information. If someone is tested outside of the university, then there isn't a mechanism for that. Is there even an option to test everyone? I, I don't know that we could test everyone at this time. Lori Lynn co-chairs the pandemic preparedness team at CSU. Our strategy is to be really aggressive in the contact tracing, to do the symptom checking, and then to do that surveillance testing throughout the semester. That will come in a variety of ways, but as some arriving families noted, there's risk everywhere. You know, for a period of time, we're gonna have to go through our trials and tribulations and figure it out till we get a point where it's safe to get back 100% face to face, but we'll get there sooner or later. At some college campuses around the country, they've been finding infection rates of 2.5% among students. Here at CU, testing done so far has shown arriving students tested on campus are about 1% infection rate. And it got, Karen, so bad at one university, the University of North Carolina, they found 130 students with COVID-19 and also they found division among the students and so they decided that's enough. No more in-person learning. We're going online only a week after students showed up. In Boulder, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First.